Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Sol, and I am happy to announce that we finally have a official release date for Patch 10.2 Guardians of the Dream. It's going to happen November 7th. It's been a long road. It's been a long, dramatic road of speculation and going kind of back and forth and going on this roller coaster. Just kidding. You guys have probably um, settled on a guess many, many months ago. And really, I should have like stuck with my original guess that, yeah, it was going to come out a little bit after BlizzCon because it made sense and blah, 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 but whatever. Ride's over. We know what's coming. Okay, we don't quite know everything that's coming, but I'm going to uh, go over some stuff, uh, things we know, things we don't know. But first off, I dig this picture. We finally have like a legit picture of all of the, uh, of all the aspects. Actually, not really. Why is Tyrande there? Well, whatever. This is like an Emerald Dream thing, but we are going to, but we, I, I do think this is cool that we get to see like all the different aspects. Like there's Evanhorn, there is, oh, I'm sorry, there's Abyssian, uh, there's Merthra, there's Alexstrasza, there's, there's Dome over there, there's Caligos. Sorry, Rathian. Oh, bummer. And then curiously, we, we have Vyronoth here, who is now in like a, in a drawn picture. And, you know, people are talking about, oh, she's going to become like an aspect or something like that. And so we're, we can expect some cool developments going on uh, with her, I hope. Although she looks like a bad guy still. So I don't know. They, you know, actually, if they all kind of like maybe dress a little bit differently, they all look kind of sinister, don't they? This does look like a villain montage right back here. They look pissed. They look like they're ready to, well, they're ready to defend the big old tree behind them, but it looks like they're ready to break faces. So November 7th is when we're going to hop into, uh, we're going to hop into the new zone. There's going to be a preseason event. And then November 14th is when, we're, is when season three is actually going to start. We're going to the raid over there. There's the there's the new class sets. There's the PvP brawl that's uh, that's going to come with the kind of sort of rated battlegrounds going on. Now here's what's cool uh, because I wasn't too sure about this and now we are uh, the new public event, the Super Bloom. That's going to happen uh, right when the patch starts. Uh, there's going to be like some some other stuff, dragon riding updates, uh, faction stuff, and so on and so forth. Okay, cool. So. What this at least kind of tells me is that the preseason is going to have, uh, it's going to be fairly lucrative, I hope, because the Super Bloom, it gives, it's going to give some good gear. The veteran gear that you're going to get from this patch, uh, even during the preseason, should be very powerful, I hope. <laughs> um, and on top of that, there's the usual, oh god, what is it called? Um, it's the thing where you got to get like 1500 rep uh, for the week, and then you get a good piece of gear from it. But... Uh, the way that the WoW team typically does this is that they severely limit the kinds of gear that you get from other sources. So during the preseason, um, even like even Mythic Zeros, they're only going to give like adventure gear, which is like, OK. But this public event, along with the weekly quest, assuming that those are both going to be available, they're going to offer two pieces of veteran gear. So I'm going to get to like a guide on how to, uh, you know, how to like maximize your gear if that's what you are interested in. But I'm also going to include with that guide, you know, how to navigate uh, some of the features here, how the loops are going to go. And probably what's really important for a lot of people, being able to wrap up as fast as you can. There are there are kind of methods to do it. I still need to test it out and make sure that they still work right. But now I don't have a whole lot of time because there's this and then there's BlizzCon and, and all this other stuff. Um, like I said, there are things that we don't quite know yet. I'm just going to make uh, some presumptions here uh, since we don't have an article, uh, like a full article as to like when... Uh, these things are going to open up. Actually, give me one second. Yeah, so I was just looking around. I wanted to double check um, what, like, if there were going to be like specific things about the raid release schedule. Mostly, I wanted to find out once and for all if the Mythic version, as well as Raid Finder Wing One, uh, if those were going to be opened up at the very start of the season, just like how it was during season two. We don't know that for sure. If if and when we find out, I'll try to change the description. You guys can point it out for me in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. But Yay. But now let's kind of let's kind of take take these things into context. Guardians of the Dream is going to come out on November 7th. Just the weekend prior, uh, prior, we're going to probably more than likely learn what is going to happen next in the world of Warcraft. Big announcements, something, something, 10 years of, you know, 20 years of this, 35 years of that, whatever. 
Um, and, so, and so I wondered to myself, I immediately wondered to myself, how excited are people going to be about this patch? It's being speculated that this is the final major patch of this expansion and that anything that comes after this is going to be like a faded season or whatnot. So when November 7th comes along, how hyped up are we going to be? It's like, oh, man, cool. We're going to do all this stuff. We're going to get all these cosmetics. This is going to be awesome. But on the other hand, some people are going to be like, yay. So uh, when is 11.0 coming out? When's the pre-patch? Because, you know, this this hippie, uh, this hippie woke stuff. No, not for me. You know, everyone's got their takes and how they feel about these things. And I am interested to hear what you guys might be thinking about this. Are you guys, are, are some people kind of psyching themselves, uh, psyching themselves out of this because of what might we learn in just a few weeks uh, versus what we kind of know already through, you know, what we see in front of our faces as well as what's been data mined and, and all the speculation that's been going around. So feel free to share comments. Uh, hey, whatever you want to say, uh, I want to hear it. Uh, of course, like the video, subscribe for more stuff. I'm going to be covering more stuff in like some guides and whatnot as we lead, as we get into this patch. Uh, and um, I hope to see you later. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Mm -hmm.